It's really difficult to imagine what these people have gone through, what these women have gone through. Sometimes I think about it and I find it very, very difficult. We're seeing a great deal of sexual violence cases coming through from the women who are on board. This last rescue, I had 16 pregnant women, and of those 16 pregnant, there were seven who were uh, cases of sexual violence, and I think four of those were pregnant because of rape. Because I'm a midwife, and my, that's my role on board, um, I always check the pregnant women. Many women, this is the first time they've seen a medic during their pregnancy and I will do consultations for women who want to speak about sexual violence. We need to give them lots of care. Some women are very uh, open about what's happened to them, and some women are much more quiet, and it takes a couple of days before they will talk to us. Many of the women will have to go through with the pregnancy and have their babies, and again, we don't know exactly how they feel about that. Some do want to keep their babies, some do not, because of what it means to them. So. Yeah, it's very, very difficult. But many women are very happy to be pregnant, and they're very proud to be pregnant. And I have even had labouring ladies on board. I was very privileged uh, to be present when a Nigerian woman had her baby. And luckily, she was travelling with her husband and her two other children. It was a very uh, wonderful moment. It lifted everybody's spirit. It's lovely, isn't it? Thank God, I'm so much very happy that I gave birth in this very place. It's very strong and healthy, beautiful. Thank yes, God. It's really beautiful. We have subsequently heard that they're settled in Italy at the moment and seem to be quite happy. We don't know what's going to happen to them when they arrive in Europe. Italy is doing an amazing job with this influx of people, um, but it's uh, difficult to understand what, what will really happen.